Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I've had a request a dude in the comments on another video asked if I could do a um, explanation about my network and I've never thought about that because for me I'm not I'm not especially much into the network part of servers and computers but well, what the hell I'll show what I've got and how I use it and all the faults that I make and actually I was just just looking around preparing for this video and I, I kind of saw something that I probably have to fix that. Well let's start with the internet because up here I'm just gonna zoom in on this I have a wireless internet thingy right there and as I remember it I didn't put it there I put it up here so I guess that thing has been sliding down on that metal thing and um, I think I want to get it up again because the internet hasn't been that great lately so <laughs> it's probably slided down and isn't as good as it has been but well it's like an internet receiver box and it has an internal router inside of it and there's actually only one network cable going up into the box. But let's go outside and look at it. Yeah, there's a lot of snow here right now. So I'll just have the snow shovel right at the door. So I brought that. And we can see the box up here. And yeah, the cable is, is kind of... Hmm, there, let's see if... It, if it goes up. <sighs> yeah, I I need a ladder to get that antenna up there again. But on the back of it. Up here on the box there is like some light dials. It has just slided down. That brings in internet. Sometimes with a stronger signal than now. And it brings it in here to into the data center. Turn on the lights. This is the door, and if we go back here, oh, it's a tight fit. Here is all the cables, and let's see what we can. Up here. Uh, the internet cable comes in. It's one of these. This one or this one. I'm not totally sure. I think it's this one. That looks nearest. The other one is a Cat 5. I think the internet is a Cat 6. But that comes in here. We can see that just in a little while. And it goes in here and goes into the top of the racks. Right over there comes down over here and goes down and then it comes out down here and it's this one and I even labeled it internet so uh, I wouldn't get confused and it goes into this little box and this is a power over ethernet box that um, that blends in power to the box outside so that the box is powered. See the cable is a it's it's a bit long but it doesn't really matter. 
the box outside has a brooder inside of it and you could if you had a normal house you could just you didn't need any any more equipment than that but I have this the signal going into this server and this is my main server um, and it's it's running VMware ESXi 5.1 and it acts as a I have a virtual a virtual router running on that server you can just go around to the front of it it's number 15 it's it's this one that's that's the server that I have I'm always running that's always on and then that has a virtual server on it and the signal goes from that server and over to this switch oh it's a bit it's a bit dusty yeah it's a bit I have a uh, 48 port gigabit switch running uh, my data center here. I really, I really ought to reboot this because sometimes it's a good idea to reboot it. So while I'm here, let's just reboot. Let's reboot the router outside. Oops. I just cut the power to the router right outside and I put back on power. I'm gonna see if I can find the switch over here. I think that needs to it, it would be beneficial with a little reboot. Have I been so smart as to No. That's kind of harder to find where that is power. On the front of it, you can't even see that it's a switch. Yeah, we might be, we might be able to do it this way. Just take this one off. And in there is the switch. It's a Linksys switch. Can you see that? Yeah, you can, you can, we can zoom in a bit. You can see the Linksys right there. And there is the power, so can I get my hands in there and pull that off? Mm, not really. But the cable goes around that way. In there. There is the cable. I'm gonna put this back on. Oops. It helps the the airflow in the data center. Put that back in there. There we are. Hmm, it's not easy to know which cable that is. There is a lot of cables here. It's not a big deal. I was sitting here doing the editing for this video and I, I kind of irritated me that I didn't get to reboot my my switch even though I did try to find the cable and stuff and I remember that the switch actually has a web interface so I thought that maybe I could go in through the web interface and reboot the switch and uh, well I just searched on the switch here and this is just a picture of the switch uh, from Amazon from right now uh, they will sell you one for $899 I would never pay that amount for that for this switch I think I paid around 200 bucks for it uh, that might have been a good price 900 bucks nope I would buy something else maybe even a new one I went on the web interface and then it looked like this. And it took me took me some time to figure out why it looked like this. 
and it's actually because this the firmware on this switch is from back in 2009 so the browser needs to go into compatibility mode add the site to compatibility close and then I'll have to log in again let's see if this works there we are a lot more possibilities to play with and I found that I can actually reboot the server or the switch from under the admin tab More, and there's a reboot uh, I have just done this before doing the video and I funny enough I lost I lost contact to my servers which I thought was really weird um, but never mind I'm not gonna do it again I just wanted to show that it's possible to reboot the switch remotely so uh, <laughs> the switch has a lot of ports and the servers use a lot of ports every server up here uses two ports there is like a regular LAN port and then there's the management adapter which enables me to turn on and off the server and well this is how that looks and I've, I've marked all the management adapters with a little red uh, zip tie in each end so that I can I can go down here and see which which of the ports are network ports and which are zip tie or uh, management ports and I've done that because when I'm actually using the servers I can always uh, take out the management port but it would be stupid to take out the network port so it's it's nice to know what what is what and that is very much the network of of this place um, if we go back up here again there were two cables the other one the which is this one the cat 5 one uh, goes into the house and it's just a long cable not really that interesting I can actually if I'm really going into power save mode I can uh, just leave number 15 on and I can shut off the switch but then I wouldn't be able to power anything else on remotely here we are inside of my VMware and we are on the server that, that's number 15 and down here I have a router and it's a DDWRT router thing and it's a it's a virtual appliance box or a virtual server and it's very very small it has a very small footprint it's running some 32-bit edition of Linux it only uses one CPU and I have given it 512 megabytes of RAM of that it's only using 46 megabytes of RAM so way overkill there and it has like a 635 megabyte footprint of disk space and then it has two network cards it has one that's called internet and it has one that's called VM network so what this does I don't know if we can get a plan about that map I'm not sure if this is completely right At least it shows that this router has a connection to everything, to 
all 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 the connections are going through the router. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, here's the internet, and it's connected to this server, the internet. But it goes up to the router, and then the route routes it down over to the other network, which means that I'm able to do net forwarding and all kinds of good stuff on the router. And we can just have a look at it. It's when you when you open it up. There's not really much to see. It's just some Linux thing, and we can we can log in. I'll just log in here, and here it tells us that you're on this router, and supposedly you can do anything on this router. If you're really good at Linux, probably program and there's the web address for where to, to get this edition. It's no secret. It's freeware. I don't know. I found it on a web page. I like this router, so um, this is kind of an it's a hardware router and someone found out how to make it into a virtual machine instead. And I like the idea of just having a virtual appliance box to route my things but it has a web address as well and here I'm answering my comments next page one point one should be the router and there it is that's the little virtual machine running this web page and it tells me all the things about my network. Get a status. And I'll need to put in an oops password to see pretty much anything else than this page. Which well, this video is not about this software. I'm just showing you that I'm using this software. Uh, on a server to route the internet to all of my servers and the network cable is, is where's my finger is that one coming out of the data center going along the, the ceiling and going in here and turning around up over the cupboards and staying over the cupboards and going down and down here and goes down behind the radiator yeah it's a it's a mess uh, pulling and drawing cables in an old house like this and this cable was of course uh, a meter too short to do it properly out here on the shell of old hardware I actually have some fiber optic switches right here and I got another it's a 100 megabit 24 port switch right there and it's they're kind of standby if uh, these are not standbys something I decided not to do anyway um, switching to fiber would just be too expensive and probably not really worth it yeah that was a little walk through my network which is not really that complicated or interesting at all uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please send me a comment about what you would like to see. And um, have a really nice day. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again.